Hello and welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Give us a like and a subscribe if you're new to that channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Today, in anticipation of the Super Mario Brother movie releasing, I wanted to talk about the Super Mario game you probably haven't played, wanted to play, or might not even have known about. And it's not even a Super Mario Brother game, but it's in the Super Mario universe, so I guess it's a bit of a cheat. That game on the Nintendo DS Super Princess Peach. Now, you might scoff at the idea, oh, a Super Mario game, but it's Princess Peach. This game is hella fun. If you like Yoshi's Story, Yoshi's Eye, all the Yoshi games, I can't see you not enjoying Princess Peach. If you like, if you like DuckTales, I can't see you not liking the Princess Peach game, Super Princess Peach. It's a role reversal game. Bowser has kidnapped Mario and Luigi, and it's up to Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom to save the day and the Plumbing Brother. Now, okay, the game relies a lot on Princess Peach's emotions, which might not translate well in today's era. I mean, this game is 18 years old now, but you have to have your emotions in check for this game. You have all four of them. There's joy, gloom, rage, and of course, calm. Tapping on each emotion will help you solve puzzles throughout the game, but you drain your emotion meter by the Calvisi. You can replenish that by capturing some turquoise, bluey turquoise jewels and absorbing enemies using Perry. Who is Perry? Perry is Peach's trusty umbrella, never to be seen again, I suppose. But Perry is a talking umbrella that helps Princess Peach along the way. Princess Peach doesn't have any power-ups like Mario does, like Luigi does. So instead, she uses Perry to sweep enemies aside or to tap them on top, throw the enemy, absorb the enemy, all these fun stuff. And it's all because of your umbrella. Perry, who, by the way, they need to bring back. The synopsis is basically that there's a, a village near the Mushroom Kingdom called Vibe Island. There's treasure there and a magical weapon, and Bowser builds a summer gateway home on the island, uh, you know, to try to capture all of these. They, it's, a, it's Bowser. It's a Mario game, basically. Anyway, so Mario, Luigi, and the Toads, they all get captured and sent to Princess Peach to go with the helps of Toadsworth. As Princess Peach finds out about this, she decides to go and save the day. But before she leaves, her trusty companion Toadsworth offers her Perry. And then she goes on her uh, way. In the journeys, you find out that Giant Gamak is the one that's capturing Luigi. So you save Luigi from Giant Gamak with Luigi, face Bowser, and uh, Hammer Bro. After, of course, you beat Bowser, you free Mario and rejoice in the Mushroom Kingdom alongside Luigi and the Toads. And they all live happily ever after. But the Vibe Scepter, the, the, the thing that Bowser was after, that he uses to control his minions is unknown. The whereabouts are unknown. Super Princess Peach was released in North America on May 26, 2006. If you have not played this game, if you can get your hands on this game, it is fun. I would call this the best Mario game you haven't played. It's not Mario 3, it's not Mario World, it's not Mario Odyssey, and it's not Mario 64. It is just a fun little game on your handheld, and you can't beat it. Check out Super Princess Peach on the DS if you can, if it's available anywhere. I have my copy safely stored away, and I can tell you right now, my nieces and nephew absolutely love playing Super Princess Peach. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe, and until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.